First new message. Uh, hi, Kelly. It's Paul again from the Pulp Room. Um, we really need to know your decision about Jesse. Uh, we can't hold this spot much longer. I, I know how, how difficult the last few months have been, and, and uh, I hope you've considered the best. Message deleted. I had seen a lot of films that depicted people with autism, and my sister has autism, and no nothing that I'd seen matched my experience um, uh, and my relationship with my sister, how my sister is. So that was kind of the first, you know, part of I wanted to create something that I could identify with that hadn't been seen before. As soon as people hit uh, these people hit 18 or 19, kind of a lot of the funding that and and programs that go to them dry up. Um, so that's scary because a lot of people with autism, it is a spectrum, so some people can be more dependent and others cannot and require 24 hours care, which my sister does. Um, so I kind of push that to an extreme. My real goal um, was so that people who shared these experiences could see a representation that was close to their experience and even if it was tragic and hard to watch, m maybe there could be some sort of uh, in the identification of this experience, some validation towards that experience that a lot of people have and are completely alone with dealing with. Sometimes it's, it's nice, you know, to be alone. And sometimes it's very lonely. When you stay out that late, I worry. Time can't tell an evening spell of sorrow I can go but I can't stay away I, I love the idea of these people that have sort of settled into their lives and they're alone but not necessarily lonely um, and they've just they've just adapted this is who they are this is how it's been and so when they find each other it's this magical thing because they were okay before they don't necessarily need a person to complete themselves but the desire is still there I think that the idea of finding love at any age is so exciting and oftentimes you only see young love you see you know people in their 20s and or, you know, teenagers, like love affairs, Romeo and Juliet, that sort of thing, which is all awesome, but I don't know, like Romeo and Juliet if they were 50. It's cool. <laughs> I'm back. Foxes, they kidnapped, they, ma they made me dig in a mine. It's been days. Haven't you noticed me missing? It's a fox! I think when you make a short film or you make any film, you always try to put as many layers of subtext in the story and in the visual storytelling. And with Fox, we tried to do as many layers as we could. So there's, there's a relationship layer between the child and the mother, and the mother can't see or hear the child. And so we're playing a lot with the relationship that kids feel they have with their parents and they feel misunderstood. In Fox, the analogy is she's trapped in a mine, so she's trapped in her world, her teenage world. And she fights the foxes and fights to get out. And the foxes represent all that is evil in the world, and that has a huge range. It's the viewer's personal darkness. So when the mother sees what she thinks is the perfect child, every parent wants their kid or believes their kid is perfect but kids struggle with that. They struggle with being the perfect child and, and, and uh, you know, living up to the expectations of their parents. So there's many layers in Fox and that's what we're playing with. Even though it's a very short film, it's about, it's about kids and empowering them to fight for what they believe in.